I'm going to show you how to set up Windows Media Center to your Xbox 360 without the yip yet. Let's get started. What you want to do is go to your Xbox 360 and set it up. You want to go to my Xbox. I'm doing this with one hand, so if I mess up, that's just me. me uh, the Media Center thing. You are going to get lines because I don't have a flat panel. Oh crap. Alright, I've already got mine, so um we're gonna go through this another way. So it's already had mine installed. Uh go to my Xbox, then all the way down to your system settings, then go down to computers, then go down to uh Windows Media Center. Well that's the only thing on the list. Then click uh setup and click continue continue oh actually copy that code uh, it'll give you a four digit code you copy the code and you um, it's your start so how do you do that on the computer now you let me go back because I already started once you have that code on your television screen you go to add extender under task on your computer next then you type in that code Seven one seven seven zero zero nine three. Don't type in my code because it won't work. Then you click next, and now it's going to start looking for the extender. Make sure it's hardwired to your 360. That's the only way it's going to work. I'm trying to get mine plugged in right now. Use a Ethernet connection. It may temporarily disconnect you from Xbox Live. And something on your screen should be starting. It should say Obtain Network Address. And there we go. It's taking off. Now it's going to take a while for this to uh, get off the ground. Once you have this where it says Searching for Extender, that means it basically found the extender. Now it's setting everything up. So this is going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the camera. And when everything's up and going, then I'll continue. And there we go. It's working. It's It should work. If you want to... Oh, sorry, I got something on my screen. Now your computer will still have something on the screen. But after a while, it'll uh, say all done. You click finish. And um, you don't do anything from the computer from here. You can actually close the media center. And now it'll just be on your screen. Now let's go add some music libraries and stuff. Here we go. It's already finding mine by default because my there's music in my folder. Before it wasn't doing this because I created a new user profile. And just look how fast it's just adding the music. It's amazing because it's going over... Uh, this LAN cable to do it. Now my Xbox 360 is right here and my PC is right here. Now you think this is a really stupid idea and I fully agree. You never have your cord where your door is. Somebody can come and knock your 360 off. But um, I'm just doing this for the video. I have a media center coming in soon. So uh, uh, media center items. What I'm doing is getting surround sound. I'm getting 25 foot cable so I can stream all my TV shows from this machine to my Xbox. Watch it on my TV. I'm getting the sound system, I'm getting the remote and everything, and then I'll do a whole video on that next week when it comes in. Uh, so that's basically how you add your music. You just go to music. As long as there's music in your music folder, it'll do it. Or you'll have to go to um, add them manually. It'll tell you what folder do you want to add them from. So let's go add video. Let's hit OK. Let's go add some videos. And it found mine automatically because there's videos in my. Just. Actually, let me show you how the playback is. I'm not going to play this with sound because they will ban the video. You know YouTube's policy. Try to turn the volume down. 
copied this from a YouTube video. So somebody's name is on the screen. Hopefully I don't get shot down about that. You all know that song. Uh, take a video of it because YouTube will ban that too. Do anything on YouTube. But basically, that's kind of how the idea of uh, I'm trying to get out of this. Um, that's kind of how you do it. If you already have videos in there, you can even uh, go to your uh, settings if you want this to be a full screen, wide screen. You know, it depends on your TV, but it's really, it's really good, and it eliminates those black bars and everything. All right, I'm trying to get out of this. No channels. Yeah, basically that's how you do it. I, I can't go any further than this. You have any questions? Yeah, that's the options right there. If you want it zoom, uh, if you want the black bars and there. But if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment.